Do cloud certifications matter to employers? Yes, but no. Today, I'm going to give you some reasons why certifications are very important to cloud employers, as well as some reasons why they might not be as important as you think. I'll also wrap up this video with my thoughts on how to think about certifications at different stages in your career. Welcome to the Cloud Career Mentor channel, where we are developing the next generation of cloud engineers and solutions architects. Let's jump right into it. One of the many benefits of cloud certifications to employers is maintaining their partnership status with cloud providers. Now, what does this mean? A certain number of, uh, a lot of companies have relationships with the cloud provider, so AWS or Google Cloud or Azure, and this partnership status gives them certain benefits, right? So imagine I had a company and I had a partnership with AWS. This means that AWS would give me some funding for projects, they'll give me some additional technical support, and there's other perks that come with this this partnership status and the way my company would qualify for partnership status is by having a certain number of employees who have a certain number of AWS certifications and so in this this way it's quite important for companies to have a certain number of employees who are certified with their cloud provider and what this translates to is that if the company is hiring and there are two candidates who have very similar skills similar skills similar experience but one candidate has more certifications than the other other, then they will more likely lean to the candidate with the certification just to help maintain their partnership status. Throughout my career in the cloud, I've mostly worked at companies, uh, at cloud consultancy companies who have partnership status with the cloud, uh, with the cloud provider, specifically AWS. And you can see now I was incentivized to get as many certifications as possible, which is now, which is why I now have, I now have nine AWS certifications. Another reason why cloud certifications are important to employers is because a a lot of recruiters and hiring managers aren't really technical and so you know understandably because they they're focused more on people rather than technology and so it can be very difficult for them to know who's actually technical or not you'd be surprised at how many people can talk the talk but can't walk the walk and so certifications are a good shortcut for them to see your credibility because if you've been able to pass the certifications then chances are you have you know some level of skill and experience and so sometimes they use certifications as a shortcut to technical ability even though that's not always the case. With all that being said there's a limit to how far certifications can get you especially if you're just starting out in your cloud career. The reason is employers want to pay you to solve a real problem rather than to have certifications. You know they need you to be able to do certain things and so uh, if you only have certifications you might not have the hands-on skills they need and this is why I always preach and always encourage new people to focus more on the hands-on projects like build as many hands-on projects as possible because that gives you that experience so that you can navigate in the cloud world and how this manifests itself is that usually as part of the recruitment process there's a technical interview and this interview is designed to weed those who just focus on certifications from those who actually know what they're doing and so this interview would would usually focus around you know solving a cloud problem or troubleshooting an issue and this skill isn't really one you can get from a certification you have to have actually done similar things things to know how to navigate these issues. Also, another thing the certifications don't teach is how to effectively communicate. Cloud engineering work, DevOps work, it's a team sport. You need to know how to communicate effectively and this is something that isn't taught in those certifications. Also, those communication skills are very important in the TV and interview process because at the end of the day, employers want to hire someone who fits in well with the team. So I'd encourage new beginners rather than, you know, getting that third certification, I'd encourage you to you know focus more on how to answer interview questions how to communicate effectively and how to be a good team player and, and sort of communicate that because that's what would make the difference in if you're selected or not for a job position i have now given you some reasons for and against why certifications are important to employers and now let me give you my thoughts on how to think about certifications at different stages in your cloud career i'd say if i was a beginner you know i was just getting into the cloud industry i don't have any experience what i would focus on is getting as much uh, project work as possible. So hands-on work, you know, I'd learn sort of Linux and Bash and, you know, do some projects on that. I'd do some projects on AWS, then learn, you know, some Python, some CI, CD. So I'd focus on learning a lot of the cloud fundamentals, but more importantly, building projects on them. And when I have sufficient projects, then I'll then update my CV and start applying for jobs. And, you know, when I'm in the sort of job application phase, that's when I'll begin to work on my certification. So 
so I'd work on my cloud practitioner certification and my solutions architect certification. And the reason is that, you know, I see them more as the, the spice to the meal. You know, they, will, they might be the difference between, you know, you getting a job or not. But at the same time, if you don't have those other things, you wouldn't even be considered in the first place. And that's why I say focusing on the hands-on project first. And then once you have that under control, then look at the certification as opposed to what people do is the other way around. So they do the certifications first and then maybe they want to focus on the hands-on stuff. So if I was at the start of my career, that's what I'd do. If I already had a job in the cloud and I was still more of a junior engineer, I think this is when I'd really ramp up my certification. Um, so like with the first scenario, before I had the job, I'd only do the cloud practitioner and the solutions architect, no more, because you don't really need those to proceed. However, if I already had a job and I was a junior sort of level and I wanted to go more towards the mid to senior level, this is the time to focus on the certifications because chances are in your day-to-day -day job, you're already doing a lot of projects. You're already getting your hands dirty. You're already building that experience. And so doing the cloud certifications really helps you to think a bit broader about you know the cloud services that are available you can start understanding more the different components and how you can apply them so now's the time to to really go hard on the certifications but again this is only after you have a job and only after you, you've um, you're, you're you're actually getting real world experience now if I was at a mid-level point in my career and I wanted to transition more into like a senior or a solutions architect, I'd actually focus more on learning sort of cloud frameworks and high-level architectural design um, frameworks. I'd focus on more of that because I want to get a more holistic view on how, you know, cloud change happens, how to manage processes, how to manage teams, how to manage uh, different stakeholders. So these are more of the things I'd focus on if I was going from a mid-level to a senior or solutions architect and at this stage getting certifications is not as important as like you know when you're going from junior to mid-level give this video a like if you found it helpful so i know to make more of them and watch this video here which is a simple mindset trick that helped me accelerate my cloud career my name is fayomi and i publish videos every week on this channel so make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one